Hold each other accountable. We're working like a playoff team. And that's where we had it. That's where we're going. Ain't no if and buts about it. We ain't placating this. We ain't falsifying this. This is the goal, and that's what we're going to get. So how you feel being back, bro? I know you're in work mode right now. What's your priority with the new guys? Bonding? Uh, or just work? It's really just work. Like, last... I understand you know how to lift and all that stuff now so it's like really investing in being great and they already had that mindset even yeah. just talking to them while, I'm, while I wasn't here they already know like bro don't worry about it handle your business shit we gonna take care of everything that's here yeah how you feeling bro back back at it again Hold that on man what you coming for this season bro everybody said they coming for everything but what you coming for bro shit yeah, my respect yeah yeah my respect fam shit I gotta take care of the people back at the crib yes sir you, know you feel like going back home really like turned you up a little bit more seeing all your people? Yeah, I seen all my people, but I seen how like treacherous it is down yeah. there. Like it ain't nothing down there. Like. And remind the people where you from? Uh, Fort Myers, Florida. Yeah. Shit, the trenches. Little Pakistan. Shall I get back? What you gonna tell him? I said I'm gonna tell him that you know last year I was joking about him being on his eighth year, but now he's really. All right, so let me set the record <laughs> straight for y'all because I was gonna do this on my page, but the first year I played for South Carolina, I redshirted. And I tore my ACL also at J Jackson State. So y'all gotta cut me some slack, bro. This is my, I play four years now. Oh. Man, that's nasty, bro. <laughs> oh yeah, and my pinky's messed up. Whoa. So I played the second year at South Carolina. The following year after that, I played at Jackson State. They're really good. The year after that, I tore my ACL. And I played the full season last year. So that's really three years of me playing. Cause two years, my knee and red shirt. So it's not really bad, bro. And I be talking to scouts, they don't care. So as long as you ball, you know what I'm saying, you're gonna get that car. <laughs> Turn off the box tight end. He actually didn't look terrible. He might have been working on his form. <laughs> sit. Oh, he might have been working on his form. Sure. He got faster what he been doing, man. Sit. That actually didn't look half bad. Oh, you know, you been in speed school. Make sure I'm ready, Tajay. You been in speed school? That look quick. Just another workout, bro. Yeah. They will try to test us mentally, physically, and emotionally. Are they gonna test you? I don't know what, what they're gonna do today, but ready for whatever comes with it. I'll tell you right now, what I want to share with you and what you're about to experience is a, 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 a taste of the Marine Corps and what matters about the Marine Corps, like what makes us different. So I've been doing this for my entire life. And it starts with our motto, Semper Fidelis. All right, and what that means is to always be faithful. Now let me explain to you what it's about becoming a team. Being a team is about trust. The team doesn't work if you don't believe, like your shirt says, that the person next to you is going to do their job. If you don't believe they're going to do their job, you'll try to do some of their job. Or they'll try to do some of your job. Or I've, been, I've deployed to combat about six times and I've always seen the same thing. When Marines trust each other, and we take a knee and I say, cover me and I'm gonna run. I start running because I just believe they're gonna shoot. That means I'm faster than the opponent because I don't gotta wait. I don't gotta have a conversation. Hey man, you sure? You ready? Are you gonna do it? I don't do all that. I just trust that they got my back and that we're ready to go. So it starts with trust. Trust is not earned, it's given. So if you're going to be a leader on your team, you've got to have the courage to trust. We doing this for the city, man. We putting that work for the city, man. Just know that. Y'all boys stay too. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Get up. Get up. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. You can do that. Let's go. Get back. Support his back. There you go. Good. Good. Keep moving. Dang. Dang. Yeah. He in that bit. Go ahead, set him down. Pick up these ammo cans. Oh, got that. There you go. Get to your nose. That's the truck. Keep digging. Scream the number out loud. Stay together as a team. You got to get their knees up. You got to get their knees up. Hard. Put them up all the way. All the way up. All the way up. Six. One, two, three, seven. seven.
So it's probably some elementary schoolers out there that can do this. <laughs> Although we're struggling, but we believe. And we're going to get there. We're coming. All right, make sure you're making your meals. Make sure you eat. Make sure you hydrate. Take care of yourself. Fellas, on a real note, some of y'all not pushing yourselves, man. Push yourself to the brink so you can get better. All right, follow simple instructions. All right, hold yourself accountable. And when somebody else holds you accountable, just raise your hand and be like, I got it. Everything don't need to be Rah rah this, rah rah that. All right, everybody fuck up. I fucked up when I was in college too, bro. Everybody fuck up. Just hold yourself accountable. Raise your hand. It's on me, and then be better. All right, we got a retention drill to work when you tired. It's easy, like you said. Ain't no way. It should be that way. Like seriously. But if everybody is doing their job individually, it will make the team's job easier. Sir. Whatever your assignment is, to rush the quarterback, to hold a gap, do your job. And you will make everybody else's job easy. All right, fellas, man, so let's be better tomorrow. The weight room was cool, but we need to put it all together. We have not put two halves together yet. We still four and eight. We have not won another game. All right? Put two and two together. Put the field and put the weight room together. I promise you, you're going to feel better after it's over. Discipline and it starts here. Don't start when, when practice starts. Don't start when the game starts. It starts right now, right here. Way to work. Way to suck it up. I know some of y'all on your last name. When you reached in, you gave it your all. Thank you. Quit saving. Quit saving. Everybody, quit saving. Just let it all out and let it go. All right. I'm proud of y'all, man. Way to work. We're working like a playoff team. 
and that's what we had. That's what we're doing. Ain't no if and buts about it. We ain't placating this, we ain't falsifying this. This is the goal, and that's what we're gonna get. We understand that? Yeah. Way to work and way to hold each other accountable. Five minutes early for weights every song. For weights. It was not weight, it was condition. You heard Shador Cuss then? Shador Cuss. I heard Shador Cuss. Shador Cuss. I feel this. You ain't doing nothing about it. Man lined up at the gate. Bro, every time Shador Cuss, dad just be like, he act like he don't hear nothing. But he hear me every time. Well, y'all know I don't play that cuss. Especially from me. Y'all do know that. You ignorant. Oh. You want to talk about me? The guy holding the camera. Here we go, Tiger! That's Defense ain't blanking with us, you feel me? Yeah. You like it. Look at Genesis. The Bible says, in the beginning. Is this the beginning? Who are you taking with you? Who are you taking with you out there today? What's your sole purpose? What's the foundation built on? What are you aiming to get? What are you aiming to accomplish? Because God had a strategic plan in the beginning, God. Then he went on to do some wonderful things. But throughout that process of doing some wonderful things, he had to divide some things too. He divided this from this, day from night, land from sea, this from this. It's gonna be some division, good to bad. Starters and non-starters. The special team to the offense. The defense to this. The GAs to the coaches. So always gonna be something to buy. What side you gonna be on? Because in the beginning, God, in your beginning, which is today, who are you bringing with you? How many picks you want today? Just one or two? I want two. Whole That's already done. I'm, I'm acting like. I want you to work hard and hustle the whole practice. I want you to pretend I'm a scout and impress me. I need you to say, all right, yeah, I have a son that's going first round Shador, and I have another son that should go first round also. Nobody say you go first round. I watched your I do. show with Jimmy Fallon. <laughs> he asked about you. He did. He asked about Shador, but you're supposed to throw me in there too, you know? <laughs> so now I have to throw myself in there. Cause I'm supposed to be going high too. I usually throw you in there. Don't let my appearance oh, cause interference. <laughs> Show me you watching your daddy. Yo, what they find you, boy? You he be watching his daddy. I told you I watch. You be watching everything, dog. Last spring practice. How do you feel about it? Last spring practice. Your last spring. Last practice. spring first practice. So this is different mentality. Legendary mode from day one. It ain't no turning off, turning, turning on. It's, it's all real. So that's the main thing, getting everybody on the same accord and bringing everybody together as a team and having that mindset off real. Oh, 
fresh. Oh. <laughs> Stop trusting you because it ain't working. Do what you guys are supposed to do. And it won't be any issues. Won't be any issues. All right? Great session ones. Great session twos. Threes. We got issues. We got issues. We got issues. Eliminate the issues and everything else will be okay. All you got to do, man, is trust your training, man. Hey, great job today. Hey, Coach talked about it yesterday. Hey, what separates you, right? I think the real question is, what is going to separate us, right? That's what the spring's about, right? Not an open hand, coming together like a fist, right? Unity, family, working together, right? Great job today, guys. Hey, a couple of observations. All you guys that were worried about getting reps, especially up front, you're getting reps, right? And so you want to embrace it. Get as much as you can. Suck the life out of every rep you get. Guys, we're living in a time and an era whereas most folks want the reward, but not the work. <clears throat> most folks want the reward, but not the work. The lottery will stay in the extreme millions. Sometimes it gets a billion because of the opportunity of the reward without the work. <laughs> you would never have consistent success or achieve the reward you desire without the work. That's what it should say, without the work. The reward does not come before the work. Now, this is what I was in my office praying for you this morning, thinking about you. And this is what I think the team is broken down to, not just our team, many teams. First of all, let's go, let's go with that. You gotta be honest with yourself about who you are and where you are and where you are in life. Athletically, physically, mentally, emotionally. I would add spiritually as well. Stop being delusional. Stop being delusional. Stop being delusional and have a man to man with yourself if you're a man. Accept the truth and live the truth. So we all trying to do. Accept the truth and live the truth. Do you want to know the truth? Let's go ask your coaches. Right? Go ask your position coaches. And they're going to tell you the truth. Now, here we go. Let's get with the breakdown. 100 players. Let's just say we have 100 players. This is how this is broken down. 10. There's 10 dudes in here right now. They really got it. And they really want it. And they're going to get drafted. Maybe not this year. Maybe next year. Whenever is their time. Ten of you in here, that's going to happen for you. Twenty-five think they got it and think they do what it takes to have it. Keep track of this now. Twenty already quit emotionally, mentally, as well as physically, but you're still in the uniform. So you in here trick-or-treat. Fifteen is on the fence right now about transferring, not understanding that your problems, and I kind of got this a little bit from Jay Phil yesterday. I think you met with your receivers and discussed this. 15 on the fence, thinking about transferring, not understanding that your problems, your attitude, and your work ethic goes with you. <laughs> and like you go to a new place and you're a new dude, you're gonna be the same dude in a new place in the same situation. Five are trying to figure out how to quit at the right time where it won't seem like you're quitting. 
You gotta get the, the, the shoe. Get the shoe. Oh my oh god. god. All right on. Okay. Yeah. Looking very heavenly today. Heavenly. I like that word, son. <laughs> I might not say some heavenly things today. <laughs> You're not gonna be profane because I don't believe in profane. Yes, sir. But there's a group of y'all just need opportunity. Where's that group? They just need the opportunity to get out there. They just need the opportunity to hunt. They just need the opportunity to play so they can prove what they got. Where y'all at? Don't you get the rep? Do you get the rep? Do you get the opportunity? Do you get the chance? Aren't you on tape? Don't everybody out here get in? Who don't get in? Is there anybody that don't get in practice? So that means you all get the opportunity. Let's take advantage of it. Let's take advantage of this opportunity. If you say one more thing, you're done for the rest of the day. Because <laughs> you're crazy. You're for talking too much junk. Why? Why are you talking? You were old school guy. I didn't talk. The game was too loud. Both of us couldn't talk at the same time. Me and my game. <laughs> Get to the ball. Why you doing it? You keep doing it. Hey, turn it off. Oh, turn it off. Go ahead. Oh, Away from the fall, right? But our practice habits will become game reality. All right, great coach told me our practice habits will become game reality. You can't continue to do the things that you do out here, all right? And then things are gonna change on Saturday when we play. All right, so we need to start building great practice habits as a unit, as an offense, as a defense, as a special team, all right? And then we'll be successful on Saturdays, all right? Make sure your team is better with you on it, point number one. Bring out the best of your teammates. It's valuable to know your teammates, their strengths, and how to position them for success. That, that involves you two coaches. Next, sacrificing your ego. When you set aside personal agendas, personal agendas, personal agendas, for the good of the team, mm -hmm. not yourself. For the good of the team, can y'all see over here? I'm oh, sorry. No, you're good. You create value by accepting your role and working to become the best possible version of yourself. The best thing you can do for us is give us the best you. I don't want no copy of somebody else that you're trying to be, because you can't try to be that. You, 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 I'd rather you be you, that's not 100%, than trying to be somebody else, because you're never gonna master that. Next, competitiveness. Who doesn't love the internal fire, high standards, and pushing teammates toward continual improvement? Competitiveness. That's what y'all want. Or you just want us to say you first team. You don't have to compete for nothing. Don't you want somebody pushing you? Somebody coming at you? Somebody challenging you? Competitiveness. I love that. I had a wonderful conversation the other day in the cafeteria because I love that it's like the melting pot, the meeting grounds of all our athletes, of all sports. And sometimes you don't get to know them because you just meandered through it. Okay. But sometimes you got to sit there and try to get to know them. And ladies, come on up. 
we had a conversation, and I and because I'm always gleaning to learn how to help y'all. How can we just make y'all more consistent, more vibrant, more who you are? And I said, ladies, can you tell me this? What is the punishment or what is the accountability when someone's late to practice or to class? Or, tell me what y'all said. We said that doesn't happen. Say it loud. We said it doesn't happen. I said, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. What you mean that don't happen? Explain that again to me. So how does that not happen? Well, we just look at our teamwork's app. And they tell us where and when and how to get there. Oh, y'all got teamwork, right? Yes. Don't we have teamwork? Yes, sir. Don't we have teamwork? <laughs> so they say they just look at the teamwork apps and what did you say? It tells you what? When, how, and where to go. <laughs> and then tell them what you said after that. You would somebody would be what? <coughs> you said somebody would have to be stupid. <laughs> To say it. Yeah, and we said a five-year-old could do it. <laughs> they said a five-year-old could look at the teamwork apps and understand where to be and what time to be there. So I said, well, is, is anybody ever late to practice? Y'all said? No, no. I said, do anybody ever miss study hall? And y'all said? No. I said, does anybody ever miss workouts? And y'all said? No. What's the difference between them and y'all? I got time today. So, so if you had something to do, like in study hall or something, but you had something else that you wanted to go to, what decision would you make? So, if they had study hall, but something else was going on that they wanted to go to, they say they would make the decision to go to study hall. Why would you make that decision? Because we have to. Guys, what am I missing? Somebody help me. I got to say it, dog. I, I, I try not to say it, but I got to say it. I have never in my life witnessed someone get pulled from the hash mark to the numbers. Y'all, defense, come on, man. Y'all got to help your dog, man. I thought I was watching Animal Kingdom. <laughs> Them hyenas? Where the hyenas at? Them hyenas back there? Them hyenas out there grab that choker. I don't know what they grab his legs. How y'all even got him over there? Huh? They grabbed him by the legs and snatched him, and he was just trying to grab the carpet. Where were y'all, man? Let's practice our butts off today. We had two great practices. We're going to end it with a great day today. And we're hitting. we back in today. We understand? Yes, sir. All right, God bless. Have a go. Safety's talking all this bull junk, what y'all gonna do? Ain't nobody hit nobody yet. Quit reaching, get there with your feet, do not grab him. Let the ball carry go, hit him! Go. He needs to be hit. Don't touch the receiver. Ain't nobody hit nobody yet. But we supposed to be physical. So bull jump. Come on, man. Show Okay, Charlie. Good block, Travis. Good block, Travis. Good block, 
trainers? Hey, good run, boy. Good stuff, boy. Thirty-five in first group. One to one. No, no, no. Go twos. Go twos versus ones. Yes, sir. Lose the, lose the one. Lose the one. Get back Sunday, right? Yes, sir. 
When? Saturday. Y'all know the code, man. What day we report here? Saturday. But what day we want you back? Saturday. Okay, now. I'll tell you what's going to happen. There's going to always be somebody. I'm about to play or it's bad weather. The lock is going to be clean as a whistle, I'm telling you. Already. It's discipline and structure what we want. I'm praying for all y'all. I want y'all to do right. When wrong is present. We. Oh, but I sink the room. Yeah.